to uh, essentially a kind of like condominium complex of shelters called Vivos X Point. Hey ladies. They got a fence on theirs. It's a good unit. It's like a survivalist gated community. This whole place was actually an Air Force base back in the 60s, comprising some 575 bunkers. It's supposedly the largest survival community on Earth, at least according to itself. Bum. Let's start with the kitchen. Stove, oven, microwave, regular refrigerator, even a dishwasher. All the conveniences at home. Entree vous? Oh, wow. You OK? Yeah. It just ate you. Almost. Bunk well, beds. There's a ladder if you need to climb. Oh, I should have done that. Is it comfortable? Yeah. And with the intimacy and privacy of the room, you know, you might do some other things. There you go. That's a beautiful sound, isn't it? I like it. That's the attic uh, for food and hygienic supplies. That's a lot of freeze dried eggs. So this is the engine room. Oh yeah. That's a generator. This is a uh, the battery bank. Each one sells for about four hundred dollars. So that unit alone is like seven thousand dollars. And this guy here is like another fifteen hundred. This is about a ten thousand dollar safe. You need like a safe for the safe. But it, that's pretty well designed. It's the best there is. Yeah. Look at the faucet handles. I know, these are it's a nice fixture. You know, it's meant to be a fun, casual, comfortable place, you know, so you are as comfortable as you can possibly be under the circumstances. Yeah. We're doing the best we can, as fast as we can for as long as we can, yeah. to build as many shelters, to protect as many people as possible. The world's still here. Sun came out. Tom and Mary are a couple from Georgia who uh, bought a bunker up here and have uh, slowly been building it out and filling it with supplies. And otherwise kind of, uh, I guess, treating it more like a vacation property than really a, uh, you know, last ditch necessity for the end of the world. Although I don't think most people's lake house or hunting cabin has barbed wire fence around it. Or can withstand a, you know, a year of nuclear fallout. You have medical insurance, you have life insurance, you have insurance on your house. Why not insurance on, on a continuation of some meaningful existence? Right, yeah, of our society. Yeah. Y2K, Tom being in the computer industry, right. um, a lot of people said, you know, things are gonna happen, so we, stocked up some water and some food and stuff like that. So that's what started it, yeah. actually. 9-11 obviously was terrible. Yeah. Um, the 2008 housing collapse and the collapse of the market is just, you know, that was just another data point yeah. in, in the uncertainty. Um, to watch the Kavanaugh hearings has been really disturbing. I mean, our, pol our political system is broken. But um, there's that, and then, you know, then there are, you know, a dozen different things that could go wrong with the economy, or there's a lot of uncertainty. And this is, it's an insurance policy. Right. And if nothing happens, it's a great place to get away. Wow. That is resonant. We just, all, all that's really been done has been cleaned and painted, and yeah. we put up some Sanitized. shelves. Sanitized. So we're, we're ready to be ready. One of the things that we had planned to do today and time's getting away from us, we were going to string up some temporary lights so that when we do close it, we can run the lights off batteries and we have an abundance of light in here. But otherwise, you're about to find out just how dark it gets. That's a very final sound. It's quiet. We could have an asteroid, we could have a tsunami, yeah, yeah. we could have uh, major earthquakes, we could have a pole shift. We all know about a potential nuclear war, World War III. We know about an EMP, 
of a pandemic, natural or weaponized. The truth is, there is no safe place on the planet, but there are safer places, and this is one of them. You have to be ready, you have to be prepared. Where does that start? Up here, in your head. Open your mind to the possibilities, do your own research, connect the dots. So, you know, I don't know what, I don't know when, I don't know where, but I do know it's coming. And when it does, all I can say is, I'm prepared, they're prepared, they're prepared, and thousands of other people that are part of Vivos are prepared.